Hello, back with another story. This one is called I Want My Hat Back by John Classen. I've read this story a lot. It's one of my favorites. Um, there's a couple things that we can do while we read this story. We can make some inferences. We can make some guesses. We can try to guess what the author is trying to tell us without words. There's some very important pictures and maybe even some colors in this book that give us clues. So as we read, we're going to see like, what could the author be trying to tell us here? I want my hat back. Hmm, I wonder if I can just switch this. Yeah, just like that. I want my hat back by John Classen. My hat is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you anyway. Hold on a second. Wait. Wait a minute. Let's go back. Let's go back to that page. What's different about this page? First of all, there's a color that's different in the... the the things that the rabbit is saying is a little bit different than what the other rabbit... He's kind of saying too much. I haven't seen... I would not steal a hat. Hmm. What might the author be trying to tell us in this picture book? I like the red letters. And I, I'm noticing something about the rabbit. What do you notice about the rabbit? Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I've been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. No, 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 no. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. Mm, my hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? Uh, what is a hat? Hmm, thank you anyway. No. Do we know something that the bear doesn't know? Sometimes in stories, the author tells the reader something that the characters don't know. <sighs> Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat! <laughs> I miss it so much! What's the matter? I've lost my hat, but nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? <sighs> it's red, and it's pointy, and... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Have you seen his hat? I think I see it. I have seen my hat. Now, here's that color red again. <clears throat> I wonder why the author chooses to make this page red. Hmm. All the other pages have been pretty muted colors. And now I have seen my hat. And then on this page, there's no words at all. So we can just see what's he doing. You, you stole my hat. <gasps> Again, here's a page that doesn't have any words. What do you think they're thinking? What's he thinking? I love my hat. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on here. 
There's hardly any words, but there's a lot going on. What do you think happened to the hat? What happened to the rabbit? Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you anyway. So, in this story, the author does not tell us everything. We don't really know what happened to the hat. Well, we know, I'm sorry. We know what happened to the hat. We don't know what happened to the rabbit. He says I would not eat a rabbit. This is a book where you can make some inferences. And it's a great story. And I wanted to share. Oh, we're going to read one next. We're going to read This Is Not My Hat. I will read that one to you another day. And um, have fun. Thanks for joining me.